We just want to give a big congratulations to all the seniors from our Thomas Nelson cheer team. Congratulations! Congratulations, congratulations North Harden Church. The Church Nation is proud of you. Let's go North! We are North Harden! We are North Harden! Congratulations to all John Harden High School students on earning their Scholarship Central Award. Go dogs! Go! Congratulations to the Central Harden High School Scholarship recipients. We wish you the best luck. Good luck to our Bethlehem Scholarship winners! Good evening, I'm DeVette Sweeney with Central Kentucky Community Foundation. We are so glad to have you with us virtually for Celebrating Achievement, our scholarship program. We usually bring everyone together, scholarship donors, recipients, school people, and community partners in one room for a great night of conversation, dinner, and of course, giving out the scholarship money. We know how much that means to you, and I have to say we are a bit sad we can't do it this year. It really is our favorite night of the year. When we put this virtual program together so quickly last year, we never thought we would be hosting it virtually again. Although a lot has changed during the past year, we still know this is the best way for us to bring hundreds of people together. Through this virtual event, we have the chance to include even more people in this special program, people who are out of town or normally unable to attend. So if you haven't already, go ahead and share this event with family and friends you want to watch. We also need your help tonight. We're giving out a bunch of scholarships, and that will take some time. So help us keep it fun and keep engaged. Throughout the night, give shout outs to each other when you see your friends and, and, and family get awards. Share your reaction photos. It's the only way we're gonna get to see your faces this year. While we're getting started, hop in that chat and tell us where you're watching from and who's with you. While you're doing that, I'm gonna give you a trivia question. How many scholarship applications do you think we received through Scholarship Central this year? For those of you who may not know, Scholarship Central is our online portal that allows students to apply for multiple applications all in one place. So go ahead and put your answer there in the comments and we'll come back to that in a few minutes. First, I want to tell you just a little bit about our scholarship program. Why scholarships? Just to give you a little perspective of this community's investment in you, our students. These scholarships are made possible by hundreds of donors and many of them are awarded from our endowed scholarship funds, which means they will award scholarships every year forever. Our endowed scholarships now total over $12 million. There were a lot of people involved in bringing these scholarships to this point tonight. We had 131 reviewers who volunteered their time to read and score these applications. Over 60 counselors and school personnel, countless community members who help spread the word and make sure students are aware of these opportunities. But what do these numbers mean to you? These numbers demonstrate that our community cares so much about you. Our community believes in you and is invested in you, our students, through this scholarship program. So tonight is about you, our recipients, and we celebrate that. But tonight is also about our donors. And we need to pause and recognize the significant generosity that they give to make these scholarships happen for you and your future. As we announce each scholarship this evening, you will hear just a touch of the story behind that scholarship, stories of inspiration and generosity. Tonight, we will award over $345,000 in scholarships. This is through 194 scholarships awarded to 152 students. This fall, these recipients will be continuing their educational careers at 21 colleges. So now, back to our trivia questions. Your guesses have been all over the place. This year, we had 1,342 applications. That is amazing. These were all submitted through that Scholarship Central portal, and they came from students at 19 schools. Huge props to those volunteer reviewers who read and scored every one of these applications. 
Many of these scholarships were very competitive. Several had over 100 applications. All of our scholarships were reviewed by a panel of community volunteers who do not see the applicant name or other identifying information. Central Kentucky Community Foundation staff and board are involved in the administration and execution of the awards, but not these selections. On behalf of our board of directors and CKCF staff, congratulations to the entire class of 2021 and particularly our scholarship recipients being announced tonight. We know there are many deserving students and look forward to seeing what the future holds for you. Now that we have some housekeeping out of the way, let's meet some winners. Um, so Kate, thanks for coming in today. And we just wanna talk a little bit um, so we get to know you um, and talk about your future plans. So just tell us a little bit about Kate. Um, I'm big into math and science. I always have been. Ever since I was little, my mom's always said that I've asked the word why so much, and I think that really goes to show my math, and I'm just curious about everything. So I really put a lot into school and um, service, so I'm involved a lot with helping feed the hungry. I've recently started a volunteering project actually. Um, I, they have these things called blessing boxes in my community where members can drop off food um, and members of the community can come and pick up food whenever. So I collect donations from anyone who would like to donate and then I make weekly drop offs to the boxes. And um, we've been going on for a few weeks now and I've raised a few hundred dollars to buy food and I've made several drop-offs filling the boxes completely. So I'm very dedicated to service and my academics. I'm in my AP Calculus class, my AP Biology class, um, my AP Literature class. Um, so I take, a lot, I take advantage of all the challenging courses that our school has to offer. So. Sounds like you'll have all those AP courses completed and ready to go. Yes, that's the goal. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, so, um, one of the scholarships you applied for was the Ann Ewing mm -hmm. Scholarship. Can you tell us why you chose to apply for that one? Um, it, the math and science based, and that's really what I want to do. I want to be an engineer when I grow up. Um, and I actually want to get my master's in engineering. So, I'm really dedicated to those fields of study. So, that's the main reason I apply. Um, where are you planning to go to school? Center. I'm actually committed to play golf there too. Oh, fantastic. Yes. <laughs> yes. So Kate, um, we're pretty far along in our scholarship process and just trying to make some final decisions. Um, definitely appreciate what you've shared with us today. Mr. Ewing, can you tell us a little bit about Anne's scholarship? Yes, Anne was uh, a math teacher. She graduated from Bethel. Uh, in 69 and she taught math at, at Bloomfield and at Nelson County and she she taught the AP courses there uh, a number of courses that especially the AP but she was a very dedicated teacher very well loved by her students she put a lot of effort into teaching uh, she would uh, spend all day at, at, at the school, come home, fix a meal, immediately go right into grading papers, uh, making, uh, doing all the teacher work. I mean, it was just, the dedication was there. When you talk about dedication uh, to, to whatever, I was listening to that and it just reminded me so much of her because she, that was, teaching was her life. She loved it um, until she couldn't you know, couldn't do that anymore. So, she, but she loved math and she, she loved to teach it. And uh, she was just, and you mentioned golf. She was the 1989 Old Kentucky Home Country Club golf champion. Oh, really? So, oh, awesome. <laughs> I got her to play golf and she did and she became good at it. She taught my son how to play and he's a five-time Maywood Country Club golf champion. So the golf and the math and the dedication and all that, I, it, I couldn't believe it. It's just <laughs> perfect, just perfect. And I, I'm uh, uh, just so glad to be able to announce to you that you are the winner of that scholarship. 
and we are so glad, so proud to have you as as our scholarship recipient this year for 2021. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. The Ann Ewing Memorial Scholarship recipients are Brett Phelps and Kate Brown. The Audrey Shelders Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Audrey, a 16-year-old student at Central Harden High School killed in a car wreck in 2017. Audrey was active in FFA and archery at Central Harden, as well as the 4-H Livestock Club and Glendale Christian Church. This $500 scholarship was established by her family and awards to a student active in those organizations which were important to Audrey. The Audrey Shoulders Memorial Scholarship recipient is Emma Case. Through fundraisers throughout the year, including their signature wine and cheese event, the Bardstown Rotary Club supports many community efforts. Their annual scholarship awards are a big way they give back, investing in the future of Nelson County youth. This year, nine $1,000 awards are being presented. The Father Ben Brown Scholarship recipient is Olivia Newton. The Jack Kelly Memorial Scholarship recipient is Caroline Hayden. The Dr. John Benny Memorial Scholarship recipient is Will Rapier. The Bob Murray Memorial Scholarship recipient is Brett Phelps. The Tom Duncan Reed Sr. Memorial Scholarship recipient is Brooke Stump. The Ron Filkins Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Campbell Roby. The Dick Harlan Memorial Scholarship goes to Sophia Downs. The Dr. Harry Spalding Memorial Scholarship goes to Bob Skaggs. The Michelle Foster Memorial Scholarship goes to Holden Underwood. Well, Sierra, thank you for joining us today and coming um, to talk about scholarships a little bit. You applied for scholarships through Scholarship Central. Yes, um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, um, I've been born and raised in Upton, Kentucky. I lived there for the past 18 years. And I go to Central Harden High School. I'm currently in the Early College program at the Early College Career Center. I am getting my Associate Degree of Science. And I'll be attending University of Louisville in this fall. I'll be studying neuroscience, and I hope to receive my PhD eventually and become a neurosurgeon. Wow. That's good. <laughs> good. Yeah, girl. That's great. <laughs> so um, you applied for several scholarships. One in particular that we want to talk about today is the Becca Bohannon Memorial Scholarship. And Jen and Jesse that are here with us today um, are Becca's sisters who helped um, establish that scholarship. Why did you choose to apply for for Becca's scholarship? Well, in that description, I saw that Becca had a very deep passion for community service. And that's something that is very near and dear to my heart. I've always grown up in quite a financially unstable situation in my life, but even with that, I have been told to give back to my community in every way possible. And just in the short description that I was able to read, I could see that she spent every day trying to make this world a better place and better for the future. So, and I, it'd be, <laughs> sorry. No. It's it would it'd be amazing to be able to represent something like that. I'm sorry. Well, we are. No, that <laughs> that is exactly the vision that we had when we decided yep. to to start this this year. Um, and so we're we're happy to let you know that you did receive that scholarship. <laughs> and <laughs> and I just feel like it's just it's a huge blessing because yep. we. I don't even know you, but I think that just listening to you talk for a short time makes me think that you are absolutely the person that deserves the scholarship, and, and yeah. Becca would be so so blessed if yeah. she thank could you. know absolutely. you. Thank so you. I'm I'm so excited. Congratulations! Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. The Becca Bohannon Memorial Scholarship recipient is Sierra Spell. The Brent Wagner Excellence in Education Scholarship was established by the faculty and staff of East Harden Middle School in memory of Brent, who served the school as teacher, assistant principal, and boys basketball coach. Brent passed away suddenly in 2014. He exemplified the characteristics of an educator who truly cared about his students and often invested time outside of the school day in students who could use a mentor, friend, or just some extra support. The school staff has continued to raise money each year and in conjunction with Brent's family, grown this scholarship so that it continues to make a $500 award annually to a former East Harden student. The Brent Wagner Excellence in Education Scholarship is awarded to Emma Case. 
Following two tragic accidents in 2014 that took the lives of siblings Brianna and Bryce Taylor just a few days apart, the community rallied together to support family and friends of Bryce and Brianna. The Angels in the Outfield Softball Tournament has since raised money to award a scholarship annually to honor their memory. The $1,000 award is made to a male and female student athlete from Elizabethtown High School. The Brianna Taylor Memorial Scholarship recipient is Grace Filburn. The Bryce Taylor Memorial Scholarship recipient, Matthew Dyer. We are from Barstown High School and we were asked to provide a message from school counselors, but we are so proud of our students that we wanted to bring in a few extra faces here. So from the entire administrative team of the high school, congratulations. Your hard work has paid off and you should be really proud. Celebrate this day with your family and friends. Go, Go Tigers! Tigers! Before Elizabethtown Community College opened in 1964, local leaders worked to establish scholarships to help students be able to attend the new school. The Central Kentucky Community Foundation scholarships to ECTC for both new and returning students have been awarded for over 50 years. Through the years, many businesses and individuals contributed to this collective scholarship fund. These scholarships represent $45,000 in awards tonight. Central Kentucky Community Foundation to Elizabethtown Community and Technical College Scholarships. Sienna Wilcox, Michelle Mingus, Isabella Morgison, Abby Downs, Naya Jones, Anna Sims, Allie Morris, Alex Brown, Olivia McMillan, Kelsey Bowman, Kwame Theus, Alicia Meadows, Alyssa King, Curtis Schmidt, Kylie Selby, Katie Miller, Chase Johnson, Corey Hike, Kaylee Cook, Gavin Gass, Cameron Stone, Dustin Butler, Rachel Kugel, Kirsten Cummins, Caitlin Eads, Jenna Newby, Rachel Emmerling, Hallie Runner, Grace Thompson, Lindsay Moore, Drew Helton, Hunter Satterfield, Mackenzie Cottle, Caitlin Grimes, Caitlin Bertram, Emily Bonagowski, Allie Burke, Gage Sondergaard, Taylor Mather, Dan Kennedy, Zoe McCaffrey, Lacey Rudd, Megan McGuffin, Ari Moore, Zach Glass, Elijah Fulkerson, Owen Lewis, Nicholas Sanders, Tatiana Timmons, Kenzie Myers, Tessalyn Patterson, Carter Boggs, Trista Colasanti, Trey Sweet. Central Kentucky Community Foundation to Elizabethtown Community and Technical College Scholarships, Returning Students, Ashton Geralds, Emma Masterson, Suzanne Petroska, Hannah Benham, Becky Council, Tayshawn Nichols, Olivia Plood, Selena Cepeda, Gabe Stalkup, Destiny Morris, Chase Deneen, David Brown, Deborah Grendels, Madison Millam, Noah Gent, Artina Harris, Siani Harris, Cody Brenegar, and Kendall Tungate. The Cindy Ethington Memorial Scholarship recognizes a Nelson County School student annually with a $1,000 scholarship. Cindy taught English and drama at Nelson County High School for many years, where she was known for the plays she directed. She used her talents in the community through the Stephen Foster Music Club, Nelson County Theater Association, and church choir programs. The Cindy Ethington Memorial Scholarship recipient is Brett Phelps. Hello, Central Harden students. Congratulations on your success in one of the most unique school years any of us have ever seen. We are excited for the end of the year and are happy to see you recognized tonight with the scholarships you will be awarded this evening. Good luck to all of you as you move on to the successes we expect to see from you in your future. Go Bruins! Congratulations to all the winners. Wow, your hard work has paid off. I'd like to leave you with this quote. Life is like a camera. Just focus on what is important. Capture the good times. 
develop from the negatives, and if things don't work out, take another shot. I wish you the best. You've got a bright future ahead of you. It's an exciting time in your life. Congratulations again. To help support local students continuing their education at the Western Kentucky University campus in Elizabethtown, Larry and Betty Sue French established this $1,000 scholarship demonstrating their support of education and young people in our community. The Colonel Larry and Betty Sue French scholarship recipient is Mindy Grauerholz. The Colonel Michael Baymore Scholarship was established in 1999 by Lahoma Baymore in memory of her husband, Michael. In conjunction with the Military Officers Association of America, this $1,500 award is presented annually to a student who is a family member of active duty or retired military service. The Colonel Michael Baymore Memorial Scholarship recipient is Keegan Walker. The Dana Marie Underdonk Bryant Memorial Scholarship is being awarded for the first time this year in memory of Dana, who died in a tragic accident in 2020. Dana was a graduate of North Harden High School and a member of the tennis team. She had a strong sense of self, and family was a driving force behind her many accomplishments. To honor her legacy, this $1,000 scholarship will be given to a female graduating senior in Hardin County planning to attend Western Kentucky University in marketing or who has been active in high school tennis. The Dana Marie Underdonk Bryant Memorial Scholarship recipient is Kaylee Best. Recognizing the continued costs and challenges of paying for college beyond the first year, Dennis and Lisa Parrott established a scholarship for an upper-class student from Hardin County attending the University of Kentucky. This $1,000 scholarship is for a student pursuing a degree through the College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment. The Dennis and Lisa Parrott Family Scholarship has been awarding annually since 2016. The Dennis and Lisa Parrott Family Scholarship recipient is Janice Harrington. Dr. Don Berry lived in Hodgenville where he had a veterinary practice for many years before he passed away in 2013. Music was also a big part of his life, sharing his talents through his church. In memory of Dr. Berry, two scholarships will be awarded this year. The Dr. Don Berry Memorial Music Scholarship will be awarded to a graduating high school senior interested in music. The Dr. Don Berry Memorial Music Scholarship is awarded to Mark Gaddy. The Dr. Don Berry Memorial Veterinarian Scholarship will go to a graduating high school senior pursuing studies in veterinary science. The Dr. Don Berry Memorial Veterinarian Scholarship is awarded to Emma Case. The Dr. Gary King Sharp Memorial Scholarship honors Dr. Sharp's work as a chaplain at Hospice of Central Kentucky and a social worker for Hardin County Child Protective Services. This $500 award is given to a student who has been connected with hospice or served through the foster care system. The Dr. Gary King Sharp Memorial Scholarship recipient is Kim Basso. With a desire to make educational opportunities easily available to local students at ECTC, the Dr. and Mrs. E.H. Journal Scholarship awards $500 to one student annually. The Dr. and Mrs. E.H. Journal Scholarship recipient is Gabe Graham. The Dr. Jim Owen Memorial Scholarship was established in memory of Dr. Owen by his wife Nancy Lee and their three children. This $500 scholarship honors the legacy and education Dr. Owen created as the first president of Elizabethtown Community College. Dr. Owen valued both education and community service as demonstrated through his profession and his active involvement in Rotary. He also had a love for books and reading. This endowed scholarship is for a student to attend ECTC who places high evaluation on education and community service as exemplified through Dr. Owen's life. The Dr. Jim Owen Memorial Scholarship recipient is Chase Lynch. To help make educational opportunities available to local students at ECTC, the Dr. Larry and Mary Lou Hall $500 scholarship awards to one student annually. The Dr. Larry and Mary Lou Hall Scholarship recipient is Laura Hagen. The Dr. Linda Mayhew STEM Scholarship was established in 2015 in recognition of Dr. Mayhew's 50 years of mathematics instruction to students at ECTC. Dr. Mayhew was the first faculty member hired at Elizabethtown Community College before it opened in the fall of 1964. Through the year, she set the bar high for her thousands of calculus students, preparing them for advanced coursework at other educational institutions and ultimately for their careers. 
The $500 Dr. Linda Mayhew STEM scholarship is awarded each year to one student in the region planning to attend ECTC in a STEM-related field of study. The Dr. Linda Mayhew STEM scholarship recipients are Trey Sweet and Keeley Malkins. Hi, congratulations to the scholarship recipients. We look forward to seeing you on the ECTC campus this fall. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Grayson County High School, we want to say congratulations to our seniors. We know it's been a difficult year, but we are super proud of you all. Also, a special congratulations to our seniors receiving the scholarships. The E.E. E. Hubbard Memorial Kiwana Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded annually to a student from Nelson County Schools. Congratulations, Thomas Nelson Generals, on your well-deserved recognition this evening. We're so proud of all that you've accomplished to this point, and we look forward to seeing how your future story unfolds as you continue to share your remarkable gifts with our world. Go Generals! The E.E. E. Hubbard Memorial Kiwana Scholarship is a $500 scholarship awarded annually to a student from Nelson County Schools. It is one of six scholarships that are part of our partnership with the Nelson County Community Support Organization. The E.E. E. Hubbard Memorial Kiwanis Scholarship is awarded to Carly Spaulding. At their 25th class reunion, the Elizabethtown High School class of 1966 decided to establish a scholarship fund for future EHS graduates. Over the years at their reunion, they have added to the fund through donations by classmates and various fundraisers. The dedication of this class to give back to their school is inspiring. This is the 25th scholarship awarded by the EHS class of 66. As an endowed fund, this $1,000 scholarship will continue to be awarded to EHS grads forever. The Elizabethtown High School Class of 1966 Scholarship is awarded to Reed Lunsford. The Glenn D. and Benny Lou Hammonds Family Scholarship was established through the generosity of the Hammonds family. This endowed scholarship will continue making awards annually to a Hardin County student to continue their education. This year's award is $750. The Glenn D. and Benny Lou Hammonds Family Scholarship is awarded to Briley Clifford. The Hardin County Bar Association is comprised of practicing attorneys within the Hardin County Justice System. A portion of the dues paid by each bar member is used to fund a $2,000 scholarship to be awarded to an outstanding student within either the Hardin County or Elizabethtown Independent School Systems. The qualities of the recipient are excellence in school, dedication to the community, and overall stellar attitude exemplifying good citizenship and a keen sense of justice and fair play in their attitude toward others. The Hardin County Bar Association Scholarship is awarded to Natalie Shorey. The Bar Association also makes a $2,000 scholarship award to a Hardin County Teen Court participant. The Hardin County Bar Association Teen Court Scholarship is awarded to Cheyenne Morton. The Hardin County Cattlemen's Association awards a $1,000 scholarship, the Wayne G. Overall Junior Memorial Scholarship annually. The Hardin County Cattlemen's Association Wayne G. Overall Junior Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Madison Wilmoth. The Hardin County Lacrosse Scholarships are new awards this year for players from a Hardin County Lacrosse team. The two $250 awards will help recognize and support future educational pursuits for students who have played at least one year of lacrosse. The Hardin County Lacrosse Scholarships are awarded to Sierra Spell and Andrew Mikatuk. The Hardin County Principal Organization has been an informal network for school principals to support each other, both professionally and personally, throughout the school year. The organization is proud to offer this $500 scholarship to support the dedication and commitment to a Hardin County graduate planning a future as an education professional. The Hardin County Principal Organization Scholarship is awarded to Riley Thompson. Through the generous estate gift of Cynthia Carter, many LaRue Countyans have support for college. The Harold and Cynthia Carter Memorial Scholarship is open to graduating seniors as well as past graduates of LaRue County High School to attend ECTC. The $2,000 Renewable Scholarship is being presented to seven students this year. Through the fund, these recipients will be part of the Carter Scholar Program, which in conjunction with ECTC, will provide student support services and educational enhancement opportunities. The Harold and Cynthia Carter Memorial Scholarship recipients are Emma Bell, Keeley Malkins, Haley Ferguson, Caitlin Eads. 
Michael Hodges, Tanner Williams, and Chase Cooper. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're so proud of your hard work and perseverance through this unprecedented school year to be graduates of Hart County High School. And we can't wait to see what your future holds. Go, Go Raiders! Congratulations, Panthers. I know this year has not been easy, but you persevered and continue to move forward with Panther pride. You are most deserving of this honor, and on behalf of all the faculty and staff at Elizabethtown High School, we are very proud of you. Go Big E! Several years ago, a group of people came together in Hart County to increase community support for students getting post-secondary education. This started with awarding dual credit scholarships for students to take college classes during high school. It then expanded to include support for vocational exams and equipment in the new vocational school. This is the second year that a year-end scholarship is being awarded to a graduating senior. The Hart County Scholarship Alliance scholarships are awarded to Hugo Ars Santa Maria, Dustin Butler, Brennan Thompson Ross, and Tiffany Sreigler. The Heart of Kentucky Association of Realtors awards two scholarships each year for $1,000 each. Their desire is to help support youth of our community and support higher education while building in a sense of the importance of home ownership. The Heart of Kentucky Association of Realtors Scholarship is awarded to Chase Lynch. Michael Salzman's passion for educating youth is so contagious that when he announced his retirement, colleagues Jason Herod and Mary Culver knew exactly how to honor Michael with a scholarship to support students. The J. Michael Salzman Construction Scholarship is open to students in Nelson County going into construction-related fields of study. The J. Michael Salzman P.E. Construction Scholarship is awarded to John Height. John Thomas Wigglesworth was a 17-year-old student in the automotive program at EC3 when he was killed in a car accident traveling between schools. Johnny loved cars and music, playing guitar, bass, and drums. He was active in his church's praise band and in the Chrysalis community in Louisville. He took his role of friend very serious and made sure to make friends wherever he went, taking the time to make sure that each person felt important. He was known for sending encouraging texts and making phone calls to just say, I'm thinking of you. The scholarship supports an automotive student in the post-secondary training. The J.T. Wigglesworth Automotive Scholarship is awarded to Nick Krantz. James and Betty Holman established their scholarship in 2017. Mr. and Ms. Holman have lived and worked in our community for many years with a deep commitment to education. This $2,000 scholarship is open to any student in our nine county region and has grown this year and will make two awards. The James and Betty Holman Scholarships are awarded to Matthew Dyer and Carly Spaulding. Guys, I just thank you all for being here. We appreciate it. I know that you guys have a lot going on finishing your senior years. And I just want to ask you just a little bit about yourselves, Keegan, if you want to tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, sure. I'm uh, a senior at Central Harden High School. Uh, currently, I'm not actually in the building uh, during the day. I go to EC3 to uh, work on my dual credit classes, and then by the end of the school year, I'll have my Associate of Science. Great. Well, good. And Matthew? Uh, I'm Matthew Dyer. I'm a senior at Etown High School. I am currently enrolled in uh, five AP classes um, uh, in an effort to uh, gain uh, a lot of credit for in a college uh, like Keekness. And yeah. Well, good, good. So do you have any, what's your future plans, Keegan? Uh, I have been accepted to the University of Louisville Speed School for engineering. Uh, I'm gonna go there in the fall for mechanical engineering, and the plan is after uh, four years to have my uh, bachelor's degree. Okay. Yeah. Well, terrific. Thank you. Yeah, best of luck. And what's your future plans? And although I haven't made the final decision yet, I'm also like Keegan, I've also been accepted to speed school, and. I, uh, I will most likely attend with, for chemical engineering. Well, great. You guys have a, a bright future ahead of you, certainly. I can tell already. Um, and we appreciate you being here. And um, any special interest you guys had growing up or in school? Uh, during, from when I was four until uh, last fall, I was a soccer player, actually. Yeah. I played from rec and then went to uh, competitive teams and uh, just finished 
my last season with the high school team. Well, good, good. Matthew, any special interest? Yeah, since fourth grade, I've been involved with uh, my school's academic team, and so I, I'm heavily involved with that. I'm the quick recall captain. Uh, we just finished our, our season a few weeks ago, and we made it to uh, state for the first time in a four long time. years. Yeah, I saw that. Congratulations. And speaking of academics, why is school and education, why is it so important to you? Uh, it's, it's just, you know, I've always been interested in, you know, learning things mm -hmm. ever since I was a little kid, just things I could pick up, you know, whether it was from other people or from classrooms. Uh, it doesn't even have to be academic related necessarily, but just knowledge in general has always been an interest of mine. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've always uh, kind of adopted the mentality of the, the lifelong learner, and that's something I can I hope to continue to do even even I, after I'm out of uh, academic life. And I find that through through uh, extracurricular such as academic team, I, I found um, an outlet to kind of uh, uh, not only the pursuit of knowledge, but just learning for just for the sake of learning. Okay. So. Well, great. We played a little trick on you guys today. I'm sorry. You're actually not here to talk about this. You're actually recipients of the John Dink Memorial Scholarship. So, congratulations. Wow. Well, well, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Tricks aren't always bad, right? <laughs> That's great. You guys certainly deserve it. And, you know, when I talk to people like this, it gives us hope for the future and our generation. So, we, you know, wish you the best of luck and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You'll have some lofty career goals. <laughs> Tell me about how scholarships are, are um, a part of your educational plans. Yeah, the uh, scholarships are provide a tremendous amount of uh, assistance in terms of the, the financial aspect of higher education. And I'm planning to attend a, a graduate professional school and uh, just kind of uh, alleviating some of the burden of this uh, incredible amount of debt that, that even undergrad is going mm -hmm. to uh, place on me. Well, is uh, pretty substantial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, similar to Matthew, um, I'm not sure if, uh, uh, well, it's basically the same reason actually, yeah. Uh, but getting scholarships is a way to help uh, future, you know, professionals in whatever career you're going for. It's a way to make sure that they focus on uh, the education aspect of college rather than worrying about how they're going to pay for that year. You know, they're able to, you know, study further and everything rather than, you know, work to try and just get through school financially. Well, good, good. Well, four years from now, we're going to check in on you guys. We'll periodically continue to check in on you guys and, and hear the stories and your achievements and triumphs through uh, your higher education. So, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. The John Dink Memorial Scholarship recipients are Ranim Touts, Anna Turlington, Amadis Davis, Susie Muhammad, Ali Blair, Graham Hewitt, Keegan Walker, Matthew Barnes, Nayeli Perez, David Harada, Sierra Spell, Kerrigan Lyons, Emma Case, Jonah Smith, and Matthew Dyer. The Casey Lee Johnson Memorial Scholarship was established last year following Casey's unexpected death and will make the first award this year to an aspiring nursing student at the University of Louisville. Casey was a devoted nurse in the UofL Trauma Intensive Care Unit. This scholarship recognizes her passion for caring for patients, which started early when she served as an EMT, continued through nursing school, and throughout her nursing career. The Casey Lee Johnson Memorial Scholarship recipient is Lauren DeBold. The Kathy Mattingly Kidwell Memorial Scholarship awards two $500 scholarships to a Nelson County High School or Thomas Nelson High School student each year in memory of Kathy, who passed away in 2014 when she was 35 years old. Along with her family, Kathy was active volunteer with Nelson County Special Olympics. She was also active with the American Diabetes Association and St. Gregory Catholic Church. A graduate of WKU, she was a member of Sigma Kappa and worked at Sullivan University in the graduate school office. The Kathy Mattingly Kidwell Memorial Scholarship recipients are Brooklyn Roller and Brett Phelps. Hey Hawks, I know it's been a tough couple of years, but I just wanted to let you know how proud we are of you and all of your accomplishments. As always, it's a great day to be a Hawk. 
to Jennifer Cobb, the College and Career Readiness Coach here at John Harden High School. I just wanted to congratulate our senior class and all of the seniors on your accomplishments. Once a Bulldog, always a Bulldog. We are so proud of you. Go dogs. The Lanny Skies Memorial Scholarship was established by Norma Lane Skies in memory of her husband Lanny. Lanny spent his lifetime working in farming and agriculture in many capacities. Through this endowed scholarship fund, his legacy will continue forever. The $2,000 Lanny Skies Memorial Scholarship is awarded annually for a Central Hard FFA member planning to pursue agricultural studies at Western Kentucky University. This year, the fund has grown and will award to two students. The Lanny Skies Memorial Scholarship recipients are Allie Blair and Emma Case. The Lisa Hayes Charnas Memorial Scholarship was established by Linnell Hayes in memory of her daughter, Lisa Hayes Charnas, a member of the 1980 Elizabethtown High School graduating class. Lisa lost a three-year battle with cancer in 2014. The award is a $1,000 scholarship to a graduating senior from Elizabethtown High School. The Lisa Hayes Charnas Memorial Scholarship recipient is Matthew Barnes. The Llewellyn Memorial Scholarship Fund was established through the estate of Charlie Nell Llewellyn in 2011. Mrs. Llewellyn spent her lifetime advancing causes she believed in, including rights for all people, particularly women. She was an advocate for disadvantaged children and adults, foster care children, and mentally and physically challenged people. She served as a social worker for Hardin County Schools for two decades, where she won numerous awards and recognition for her devotion to the betterment of young people. Through her most generous end-of-life endowment gift totaling over $2 million, Hardin County School students will benefit forever. This year, 25 Hardin County students were selected to receive the $1,000 Llewellyn Scholarship. This award is renewable for up to four years, with the award amount increasing to $1,500 for the junior and senior year, making the total scholarship value $5,000. The Llewellyn Memorial Scholarship recipients are Nayeli Perez, Sierra Spell, Keegan Walker, Anna Turlington, Susie Mohammed, Kaylee Nelson, Graham Hewitt, Kaylee Best, Camden Jones, Allie Mahone, Emma Corder, Emma Case, Cheyenne Morton, Caroline New, Shanna Boyd, Caroline Borders, Allie Blair, Kaylee Flack, Alan Lockwood, Charlie Siegler, Blaine Mattingly, Angel Strother, Caitlin Wendell, Mark Gaddy, and Amadis Davis. The Mac Michaelis Memorial Scholarship was established in 2010 by his family to honor a lifetime of law enforcement and military service. Each year, this $500 scholarship awards to a student planning to pursue a career in law enforcement. The Mac Michaelis Scholarship recipient is Blaine Mattingly. The Martha Jane Hamilton Memorial Nursing Scholarship honors the lifetime of service Mrs. Hamilton gave to her patients. Throughout her career, she enjoyed working with nursing students. Through the generosity of the Hamilton family, this scholarship is available to Meade County in studying nursing at ECTC. The scholarship pays up to full tuition. The Martha Jane Hamilton Nursing Scholarship recipient is Garen Waters. Over 50 years ago, Mike and Sharon Bell began their ministry to the congregation at Glendale Christian Church. Little did anyone realize the gift our community received when the church called Mike and Sharon. Each day, they actively invested themselves in helping others. Countless lives have been touched and blessed by their love and generosity. They planted the seeds of a better life and a better community by the examples they gave us. In gratitude of their 50 years of service, Glendale Christian Church established the Mike and Sharon Bell Scholarship to ensure their legacy of kindness endures. It's a tribute to their passion for the church and their passion for the people of our community, for their service went well beyond their church. The Mike and Sharon Bell Scholarship recipient is Susie Mohammed. With a desire to make educational opportunities easily available to local students at ECTC, the Mr. and Mrs. Lewis H. Hall Scholarship awards $500 to one student annually. The Mr. and Mrs. Lewis H. Hall Scholarship recipient is Seth Armstrong. 
The Nandi Smile Scholarship was established in memory of Jasmine Nandi Gordon, who was a lupus warrior until she died in 2014. The $500 scholarship is for local high school students to pursue studies in music and STEM fields, Jasmine's passions. Jasmine was a 2010 graduate of North Harden High School. She attended Northern Kentucky University, where she majored in music. The Nandy Smile Scholarship recipients are Shanna Boyd and Allie Mahone. Annalise Linder was a senior at John Harden High School, attending the Early College and Career Center and pursuing her associate degree when she passed away in March 2019. She had been accepted and was planning to attend the University of Louisville in June immediately following graduation. Annalise will always be remembered as a kind-hearted, free spirit who put others first. This $3,000 scholarship awards to a John Harden student who embodies Annalise's characteristics. The obviously Annalise scholarship recipient is Crystal Bilbrey. The Owen J. Estes Senior Memorial Scholarship was established in 2012 by Mr. Estes' son, Paul. The $5,000 scholarship honors the long history and education Mr. Estes had in Hart County. He began teaching science and math at Mumfordville High School in 1956 and continued there until the new Hart County High School was opened, where he taught until retirement in 1982. As an endowed scholarship fund, awards will be made to Hart County seniors forever. The Owen J. Estes Senior Memorial Scholarship recipient is Luke Carter. Congratulations to Nelson County High School students on your scholarship awards. We are so very proud of you. Go Cards. Hey, North Harden Trojans, Mr. Campbell. I just wanted to wish you all awesome congratulations for a job well done. Um, many congratulations uh, for making it through. Um, not only the four years of your high school career, uh, but this pandemic. Um, your success uh, says a lot about your character, work ethic, and, and your future. Um, once again, congratulations, and onward Trojans. Shannon, I just wanted to get a few questions to you. What's your aspirations for the future? college and afterwards? So my whole goal is to become a veterinarian. Um, so I'm going to Moorhead State for the pre-vet program. Um, and then my goal is to go to Auburn afterwards for the doctorate. So that's kind of my goal. Um, my mom isn't able to pay for Auburn for an entire eight years of school. So I'm trying to go a little bit before then. Um, but that's pretty much my whole plan is to start maybe a veterinarian clinic myself in the future. Uh, maybe start like a mini on-the-go van type thing to do it um, just to help more people out. So, yeah, that's kind of been a whole dream of mine for a while, and I'm kind of glad that it's kind of coming true. So, so I assume you're an avid animal lover. What, what does you <laughs> being a vet? Um, so ever since I was little, I've always wanted to become a vet. Um, that's been something that I've always liked because I've always had animals growing up. Um, but really what pushed me was my animal. Um, I have a pit bull puppy. Um, she got abused and neglected in her past home. She got um, thrown out of a car window. Um, so we had to take her in and get her leg amputated and everything. Um, so she kind of pushed me to be like, okay, I don't want to see people get hurt. Like, I want to be able to help them care for these animals and make sure that they get whatever they need to, um, proper treatment that they can get. Um, and that's, that kind of pushed me to what I want to do more. Well, the scholarship actually Scott started it last year and his wife. Um, it's in memorial for my wife. My wife taught at North Harbor for 28 years. And I tell people, 40, 42 oh. years ago, my life changed. I took my first accounting course, but that is not what changed it. I met this girl named Patty Owenstein, which later became Patty Lyric. Just an unbelievable teacher at North Harbor. Actually, Scott had her mm -hmm. in her earlier years. And if you wanted to look in the dictionary what kindness was all about, you would see Patty. Absolutely. There's so many people since she's passed away mm -hmm. have told me I had Patty umpteen years ago. I came from an abusive house. I had all these issues. And the minute I walked into her room, I sensed something different. And you know, a lot of times uh, when you have a teacher like that, that's somebody that really changes your life. You know, Patty was a Christian. Christ lived in her, and the kindness that it talks about in 1 Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind, that's what you saw in Patty. So when Scott came with, with this idea, I thought, man, 
that would be a great way for Patty's legacy to continue to live. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you had Patty? And you no. Said you, you yeah. Oh, you did? Um, I actually knew her. Um, we were really close, but I, I had her in a few sub, you know, classes and everything. Um, but the main one that I remember was uh, when I was little in fifth grade, and she was oh, my wow. teacher and um, my sub teacher for my social studies class. And she was kind; she handed out candy and everything to us. Um, so she was really sweet, and I, I got along with her well. Um, and she loved me too. I mean, at least I hope so. But it, it seemed <laughs> yeah, like she did. She did. <laughs> she gave candy. Yeah. 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 But no, she was really sweet, and I really liked her. So I was like, oh, this is really. Because I was like going through and applying for all of them, um, and I was like, oh, you know, this is really sweet that they did this um, because you know she was a real sweet teacher. So I really appreciate that. So what elementary school was that at? Um, Fine Grove. Fine Grove. Wow, mm -hmm. that's where my kids went. <laughs> yeah, I went what a there. Small and world. Then, yeah, <laughs> and then um, James T. A. Alton and uh, North Harden now. Cool. Well, that is awesome. <laughs> I'm actually my daughter goes there right now, so really? that's that is really a small world. <laughs> Well, we would like to uh, actually surprise you a little bit today. Okay. You're not here just to answer questions. Although, <laughs> although your answers would have gotten you yes, the yes, job. Yes. Go Tigers. Good job, Aubrey. Thank you. We are honored to offer you the scholarship. Awesome. Absolutely. Thank We're you. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Great job. The Patty Lyrit Memorial Scholarship recipient is Shanna Boyd. The PFC Sammy Phillips Memorial Scholarship was established by family friends Scott and Monica Kisselball to help remember Sammy and help students with their education. Sammy lost his life serving with the Kentucky National Guard in Iraq. The North Harden High School graduate was 19 years old when he died in 2007 in service to our country. The private first class Sammy Phillips Memorial Scholarship recipient is Ali Mahone. Well, thanks, Crescenda, for joining us today and uh, making time in your, I'm sure, busy student schedule right now to do this. Um, you know, we're in the midst of scholarship season and trying to get all of our scholarships finalized and just wanted to touch base with you. You applied for the Ray of Sunshine scholarship um, through the foundation. Um, can you tell me a little bit about why you chose to apply for that scholarship? Sure. So um, in 2004 to 2010, I was a human services student. So I'm going back to Northern after being gone for some time to continue my degree in health and human services. And I applied for that scholarship specifically because it was aimed at mental health and helping people in their journey. And I was really touched by the story. Taylor story is, is very touching. Um, and I think, I think um, her family is really working for her story to help make a difference for for other people. Why did you choose this um, this profession? The reason I chose this profession is because I've had people that have helped me along in my life um, in times that I was in need. And um, I felt so touched by my person who mentored me that I decided when I'd go to college that I would pick a educational um, experience that would allow me to help people um, no matter what in, in community service type settings and um, I've been able to do a lot of things with my degree as far as like um, networking I've even had a benefit for a friend been able to do just great things with with it thus far it's quite a calling it seems like you have for this area of work what are your plans after you graduate do you know a specific um a career path you want to take i would love to help children that are affected by alcoholism like really work with them one-on-one -on -one if i could i know that that's kind of like there's a lot of children that are out there that have um that kind of lost in the mix of life you know there's a lot of things that go on and um, to be able to do something with that type of community would be great. Well, Christian, I actually want to deliver some really good news to you today besides getting a little bit of information. But in reviewing your application for the Ray of Sunshine Foundation, our re reviewers were just blown away with your application and your story. And you are the 2021 Ray of Sunshine Scholarship recipient this year. Thank you. So congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 
I hope that it will be valuable to you as you continue on with those higher education expenses uh, that we know can add up and, and making a difference um, for what you want to accomplish. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I will definitely do things in her honor to help others. The Ray of Sunshine Kentucky Scholarship recipient is Crescenda Fass. Randy Pinkston spent his lifetime helping youth in Nelson and Hardin counties as a teacher, coach, and friend. He coached boys and girls basketball at St. Catherine, youth baseball, and the Thomas Nelson golf team. He died in 2017 from cancer. Continuing his memory and investment in students is an annual $1,000 scholarship to a Nelson County School student. The Randy Pinkston Memorial Scholarship recipient is Missy Hamilton. The Riley Marie Raison Equine Scholarship was established by Riley's family following her death in a car wreck in 2017. Riley was 16 years old and a student at Central Harden High School. She loved animals, particularly her horses. To honor that interest, this $1,000 scholarship awards to a student in Hardin County going into equine studies. The Riley Marie Raison Memorial Equine Scholarship is awarded to Morgan Burba. The Schmidt Family Scholarship supports an Elizabethtown High School senior planning to attend Elizabethtown Community and Technical College. This scholarship will pay up to full tuition. The Schmidt Family Scholarship recipient is Colton Brunig. Thank you for being with us today, Abby. Um, we just want to talk a little bit about some scholarship opportunities and learn a little bit more about you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I am a senior at Washington County High School. I work at a daycare educating butterflies. I work with mainly infants there. I'm going to University of Louisville. I plan on going into nursing. I don't know what area I want to go into necessarily. Probably either trauma, psychiatry, psychiatric, psychiatric or pediatric. Okay. So very different parts, but I have a heart for each individual part and I'm very dedicated to my studies. Um, I enjoy school, like I always have, honestly. I enjoy reading and I just enjoy, like I tutor some and just enjoy doing stuff like that. So, and I just enjoy free time. Anytime I get to do, I'll like go shopping, just like any normal person, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what classes have you enjoyed the most in school? Um, well, this year specifically, um, I have, like I started a pathway that I was, wasn't even supposed to be in. I somehow got it, but it was the teaching pathway. And like I got out of it because it wasn't one I was supposed to be in for nursing, but I did actually enjoy it surprisingly. But um, I'm now in med terminology because it is in my pathway and I enjoy that one too. Mm -hmm. But um, besides that, I'm in parenting too and I'm enjoying that one as well. Those will probably both be helpful in your career. Paula knows a little bit about teaching. Yes, yeah. I'm a retired teacher. Really? Yes. What did you teach? I taught high school English. Nice. I yes, enjoy I English. That's my favorite like core curriculum. Class. I like to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Paula is part of one of the scholarships that we offer um, and that you applied for. Um, Paula, you want to tell a little bit about? Uh, yes, uh, the Taylor and June Spalding Memorial Scholarship. Um, my husband and I started to honor my parents who were lifelong, um, you know, uh, lifelong uh, Springfield residents yeah. and um, very, very active in the community, uh, very, very involved in volunteer activities, in particular those that uh, assisted those with intellectual disabilities. Mm -hmm. My sister uh, was born with an intellectual disability and for over five decades they worked with the Washington County Association for the Handicapped. Uh, and helped start a private school before schooling was available uh, in um, the public school setting and then a, a shuttle work activity which still goes on to this day. Uh, it's in the old Reeds Key Market for those in Washington County. That's where it's located. That's and, incredible. Yes. And then they also uh, helped establish a couple group homes, um, giving some land off of our farm and helping start those with the help of Communicare. And so, um, you know, it's kind of to honor their memory. Uh, they always talked about how wonderful Washington County was, and I know it's a wonderful place to live, 
because I grew up there. I graduated from Washington County High School a, a while back. <laughs> I'm not going to say how many. And um, so we decided to start this scholarship in their memory to honor them, but also to thank the Washington County uh, folks for being so supportive of the charity that was so near and dear to their hearts. So um, and we're glad to know that you applied for that. When you were looking at scholarships, what attracted you to the Spalding Scholarship? I just, um, I really think that the community is such a great community to be a part of. Like you said, it's just a community that cares about everyone. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you had said Communicare. I hadn't seen that Communicare was a part of it, but um, my mom works with Communicare oh. some too, and I didn't know that. But um, I just, the community as a whole is so dear to my heart as well, because my family has always lived here as well, and I just love to get back. And I, I am going away to Louisville, but I plan to stay within the community and live here, hopefully my whole life. And I don't know. I just feel connected with it. So. It's a, it's a great. It really is. It's always it really home. Is. my whole family's here. Mm -hmm. It just feels home. <laughs> well, I think that we actually have some news for you mm -hmm. um, regarding the scholarship. We actually have maybe told a little bit of a fib to get you here, but we wanted you to know that you are the recipient this year of the Taylor and June Memorial really? Scholarship. Really? Taylor and June Spalding <laughs> Memorial Scholarship, yes. I appreciate that so much. And fun. we are glad to award that money to help you further your education. I appreciate and it. And to help so you, much. you know, in your career that obviously you have a heart to give back to people. Mm -hmm. And that is very much what my parents did. And uh, so we are thrilled to be able to give you that scholarship to help you in that goal. That means so much to me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. The Taylor and June Spalding Memorial Scholarship recipient is Abby Russell. Taylor Martin was a senior at Thomas Nelson High School when she was killed in a car accident in 2015. She was a soccer player for the Lady Generals and Athletic O Flames, worked at Keystone Cinemas, and was already taking college classes in preparation to attend WKU the next fall. This $1,000 scholarship is awarded annually to a Thomas Nelson senior. The Taylor Martin Scholarship recipient is Carly Spaulding. Kentucky State Police Trooper Cameron Ponder died in the line of duty in 2015. Prior to joining KSP, he served for several years as part of an underwater demolition team attached to SEAL Team 1. A native of Rineville, Cameron was a graduate of North Harden High School where he was active in athletics. Through various community fundraisers and the generosity of individuals, this scholarship will award $954, representing Cameron's badge number 954, to two students tonight. The Trooper Ponder Memorial Scholarship recipients are Blaine Mattingly and Nathan Lee. A graduate of Nelson County High School, Tyler Foster was a senior at the University of Kentucky majoring in accounting and finance when he died in 2015 along with his friends Keaton Hall and Jordan Hickman. Tyler was a member of the Global Mobility Unit in the Kentucky Air National Guard. His college career was interrupted multiple times for service with his unit and work experience. The University of Kentucky awarded Tyler a degree in accounting posthumously to acknowledge his effort maintaining a 4.0 GPA while facing the challenges of military service. The $1,000 Tyler M. Foster Scholarship awards to two students who show the commitment to learning, persistence, hard work, and caring for others that Tyler demonstrated. The Tyler Foster Memorial Scholarship recipients are Holden Underwood and Brooklyn Roller. Wendy Elaine Trinum was a teacher who loved her job, enjoyed her students, and made learning fun. She believed education solved many of the world's problems. She received a Master of Education from the University of Louisville and had begun the process of completing the Doctorate of Education. Wendy's passion was to learn and expose herself to many cultures and she pursued this by traveling the world while serving our nation overseas, working for the U.S. Department of Defense Education Activity in Germany, Korea, and Japan. Her smile and infectious laughter will be long remembered. She taught at North Harden High School and her scholarship awards to one Trojan student this year. The Wendy Elaine Trinum Memorial Scholarship recipient is Riley Thompson. Well, folks, that's a wrap. Lots of scholarships, happy students, and likely some happy parents. 
Recipients, we need you to be looking for an email from us with further instructions regarding acceptance of your scholarship. In all your excitement, please don't miss this important information. Being awarded the scholarship is just the beginning. Make sure you complete the next steps. Right now would also be a great time to record a quick thank you video and send it to us so we can share it out with all the donors who have made these scholarships possible for you. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight. You truly help make our scholarship program a success and help continue our community's commitment to education for our youth.